we are done with the cash flow statement. Let's go to the balance sheet and finish these numbers. What I want to do is actually first calculate, go down to your commercial paper in I-23. Let's do cash last. In I-23 on the balance sheet now, I want you to grab this number in from the debt suite. I want you to say equals. Control page down twice to the debt suite. And I want you to grab ending balance I-3029 on the debt suite. And we go to debt suite, zoom in a little bit so you can see a little bit better. And I-23 again from the balance sheet will say get me debt suite I-29. Let's do the same thing for the revolver. The revolver in I-24 on the balance sheet will say equals control page down twice to the debt suite I-35 ending balance on the revolver. You will take both of these two numbers now, shift right control R, to 2010 and you will fill in those numbers. You can leave these as a highlighted yellow to indicate, again, that you cannot do this on the first or the second pass. You have to do this on the last pass after the debt sweep. Row 28, current portion of long-term debt will say equals. Here you're going to have to put me a negative sign because recall that we had it as a negative number on the debt sweep. So I-28 will say equals negative. Control page down twice to the debt sweep and go to cell I-42. I-42. Take that, shift right control R to the right. Again, I-28 on the balance sheet equals negative. Don't forget the negative sign, equals negative debt sweep I-42. When you shift right control R, this to 2010. If you note that you do have negative numbers appearing, take the time now to go back and negate it so it becomes a positive number. Now, in cell I-32, long-term debt, let's say equals control page down twice to the debt sweep, cell I-45. That's your long-term debt excluding your current portion commercial paper and revolver. Hit enter, 23109, and of course, shift right control R to 2010. Now, at this point, take a look at your last column, last row 47, the check. The check is off exactly by our cash amount, the cumulative cash amount. Let's go ahead and put in our cash balance now. Once you do that, you will have a fully balanced model. It's not yet fully integrated, why not? because you haven't finished the interest schedule, which we will do right after this. So in cell I-9 on the balance sheet, on the cash, on the balance sheet, cell I-9, the cash number, you will say equals, control page down to the cash flow statement, and get yourself to cell I-37, which is the ending cash balance. You will take this $6,000, you will go ahead, and you will shift right control R to 2010, and there you go, $6,000 in every year because we've always had a shortfall. We never built cash. We still haven't finished paying off our revolver. And take a look, folks. Take a look. Your check should now be at true zeros, row 47. Congratulations. You have now built your first balanced model. But as I said, we're not done yet, so don't jump up and down for joy just yet. What we'll do now is take a quick break. When we come back, we will finish the interest schedule. See you in a second.